Welcome back folks, this is Mike Nekta recording live out of the New York City Diamond District. I'm gonna show you some more of my jewelry today. Come take a look, look at these diamonds here. Now pay attention to all the diamonds in this tray right here and tell me which one of these rings does not belong. Which one doesn't belong? Three, two, one. Zoom in on this one right here. It's a real diamond just like the rest of them, but the only difference is this is a cushion cut, a brilliant cushion cut, and all the rest of these here are square emerald or rectangular emerald step cut diamonds. The difference between a brilliant cut and a step cut diamond is the facet arrangements inside. The step cuts all look like the facets are Arrange like steps going down into the stone or out, out of the stone. Not the same thing when you're dealing with a brilliant cut. The brilliant cut has a whole bunch of trapezoid or triangular shaped facets reflecting light out of it. Which one's better? It's a matter of preference. It depends on what you're into. This is a little busier. This has longer facets which gives you more flashes of white light and I feel like the brilliant cut gets you a balance of the white light plus a little bit of the uh, prism colors, the colors of the rainbow coming out of it. Anyway, let's start with this one since it's the odd one out of the bunch. 10.02 GIA certified cushion cut diamond. Color and clarity are IVVS2. VVS2 means a trained gemologist looks inside this with a microscope and has a hard time finding the inclusion. Square emerald, or also known as an asher. They look very similar to the Royal Asher, which is a branded cut. But they're square emerald cut diamonds. The one here is 11.91 carats in the center, G color. And the one here is 8.61 carats in a J color. You see the size difference? You see the color difference? The J color is slightly yellower, but not a yellow diamond, because when you have it by itself, it does, uh, it is classified as a white diamond, all right? Big difference in the style of the setting. Style of the setting, we continue with square emeralds going down the shank on this one. And this one here has a more classic look with bullets on the sides. So little diamonds are set in there when I'm viewing it through a high powered microscope. So when we zoom out, we don't really see any of the prongs holding those diamonds in place. It looks like magic. It's a high powered microscope that's not available to all jewelers. So we'll cut. This is the three stone past, present, future set up seven. It's about seven carats total, but five carat in the center. Huge 8.81 carat emerald cut with step cut trapezoids on the sides. This is a GVVS. Mike Nekta, M I K E underscore N E K T A, that's the Instagram. And then Mike Nekta just put that into YouTube. Anyway, what's cool about this ring is that it's a diamond eternity band which means diamonds go all the way around and they're chunky emerald cut diamonds. The shoulders are emerald cut diamonds and the center is a whopping eight carat emerald cut with an E color VVS clarity. That is a very high grade. You could look it up. Um, not too many diamonds, better quality than that. Eternity bands once again are, are rings, they're bands that have diamonds going completely around the entire finger. So there's no spaces on the bottom, it's just continuous no matter how you're wearing it. These are all emerald cut and it depends how you like it, depends on how big you need it. We have them in all different sizes. This is a total of 15 carats, this here is a total of over 11 carats, this one here is another one that's 7.78 carats and they're in different sizes. So even if they look the same, but you see a different carat weight, it's just because uh, the bigger the diamond ring is, the, eternity, the bigger the eternity ring is, the more diamonds you will need. So just a few more diamonds changes the carat weight. These would also be able to be made specifically for your finger. If you're interested about prices, let's do that right now. This ring right here, this is what it would look like on a hand. 9,500. That's 6.84 carats. Only if you mention this video, you're getting these prices. This one right here, it's 52,500. That's 11.66 carats of diamonds. 
really good shapes and as you can tell the color is amazing on them. Next one here which is 15.64 carats with a U-shaped setting. Pay attention to how that's designed. It's very different to holding the diamonds in place. It's just a matter of preference. We can do it however you like. 15.64 carats of diamonds here, 18 karat gold. The diamonds in this thing are huge. As you can tell, if you mention this video, you can get something like this for 68,500. That's a wire transfer by cutting out the credit card fees. I'm gonna pass those savings right along to you. That's only fair. Okay, so take a look at that and compare it to the one I just showed you previously. 9.68 carats divided amongst 18 stones. You know what that comes out to be? Each one of these is over half a carat. 0.53 to be exact. That's the average carat weight of each one of these diamonds. 18 carat gold. Promotional price. Send me your wire transfer of $33,000 and this is yours. I get to send this to you overnight, fully insured by Federal Express. Platinum. 7.78 carats, 7.78 carats. You're gonna like the price on this. $17,200, send me your wire transfer and this ring is yours. So that's just a little sample of my diamond jewelry collection. If there's anything that you're after, I'm your guy. I'm operating out of the New York City Diamond District six days a week. In case you don't know, the New York City Diamond District is like the Wall Street of diamond jewelry in this hemisphere. Give me a call anytime, 212-921-4647. Challenge me, I'm here to help you, thank you.